So, in this very serious video, I'm going to be addressing abortion. Yeah, big scary issue, right? Everybody hates jumping into this unless they have some kind of far-flung ideological opinion on it. Well, I don't. I don't approve of abortion being used as simple birth control. Like, oh, I don't want a baby, I'll just get it sucked out of me. That's pretty messed up to me. However, I will give a giant all caps however here on the fact that I don't feel it my place to stand up and say no to that or regulate it. How do I get off saying that? Well. On the most primal level, I'm not a woman. I don't have those parts and I don't deal with that sort of thing. I feel a bit less qualified than a woman discussing women's reproductive systems. Just going out here and saying it, that a man is a little less qualified than a woman to be speaking about pregnancy. Just on a practical level, making that note very quickly. Now, on a second note here, and I think a much more important note, circumstances are never black and white. One circumstance for abortion is unlike another, in every case. You can't just say, well, all abortions are the same, or all women getting abortions are whores, or whatever. No, no, that's stupid generalization, and it makes you a liar, basically. Because it's untrue. A woman could need an abortion to save her life. And let's even make this easier. Let's say it's a stillborn dead baby, right, inside of her that is causing all kinds of problems, and if it stays in her, it's going to kill her. If you stand there and tell me, well, that's nature's course, and she needs to have that naturally, well then I'll slap you upside your head and call you a murderer by proxy. What the fuck is wrong with you? That is a clot of flesh and blood that is dead inside of her, killing her, and you say, let that clot prevail? I mean, if we take this any further, you'd be fighting for cancer rights. It's alive, isn't it? Why are we destroying the cancer with radiation? That's cruel, isn't it? You're taking this idea to such an absurd extent that I have to sit there and go, no, fuck you, that's stupid. Because, like I said, I disagree with abortion done for trivial reasons. I don't think that's appropriate. I think it's unnecessary. But you have to admit, you must admit, that there is a medical precedence for abortion, a medical necessity for it. Maybe in the future there won't be. Maybe we can fix this all in time and we'll never need abortion again. That'd be great. But we're not there now. We can't be there right now. It's not like someone's hiding the technology from us either. We just don't know how. And much like amputations, which are an unfortunate necessity in medical knowledge, we know this, anyone who's realistic knows it, you might have an amputation one day. Abortions are a medical necessity. Let's not use them trivially. But let's not take them away either, because they're a medically valid tool. And honestly, if I'm going to sit here and say that I can't disagree with abortion on this level, I'm not going to sit here and say that I can't, that I can tell a woman she can't have an abortion for the reasons I think she shouldn't either. That should be a personal choice. If a woman wants an abortion for a reason I disagree with, I don't feel it my place to say that you can't. I might say you shouldn't or that I disagree with it, but I will not sit there and say you cannot do this. Because honestly, when the chips fall as they will, on a practical level, divorcing all higher thought from it, the baby is a parasite. It is something reliant upon the mother for its very life, while the mother does not need the baby. Honestly, if she wants the abortion, she will get the abortion if she really wants it. Making it medically safe is the least we can do as a preventative measure. It lessens the harm in a very real, sort of morbid way, yes, but it's, it's real. I mean, when people bring up the coat hanger abortions, it's not entirely just hyperbole and lies. When a woman does not want a baby and her life will be ruined by it, she may do desperate and drastic things. I would prefer that at the very least we can save one life instead of losing two. So, until we reach the point where abortions are not necessary and we have a system to take care of unwanted children, really, I think there are more immediate issues that can be hashed out with the capabilities we have to solve them right now, because as it stands for abortion, no one has an alternative. There isn't a system to take care of every unwanted child. There isn't a system to painlessly take care of a child that would kill the mother and just extract it magically. None of that exists, so we must understand the reality. And the reality is abortion is an unfortunate necessity. Not in every case, but in enough cases where it is needed. Just something to think about. 
a baby born to a family that cannot take care of it into an adoption system like we have now that, while so much better than it used to be, is still a pretty inefficient thing. Like, kids that go through there, let's be honest, they can get messed up there. They can go into bad homes, terrible situations, and yeah, it's not all bad, but it's not great either, and adoption times are long. Look it up for yourself if you're interested. It's not all bad, but it's not great either. Maybe the family can't take care of the child either, and they choose not to put it through that. You can object to that, but their heart was in the right place. They made a decision that they thought was best for the child, and I honestly can't fault them. I'm not them. I'm not. So I can't make that declarative statement. I can't say they were bad. Now when we talk about abortion to save the life of the mother, the anti-abortion people lose me. They lose me altogether because, well, I value the life of the mother over the value of a fetus. Sorry. It's, that one thing is pretty black and white to me. You have a mother. Her life is in danger. If she gives birth to this child, they may both die or she'll die or something like that. You know what? If the risks are too great, abort the child. The mother can have another baby. Let's be honest and let's remove for a moment this mystical bullshit around all children or fetuses are sacred. Let's part that for a second and get to the facts. She can have another baby. The baby could die in the birth process anyway. The mother will die if nothing's done, right, in this hypothetical medical situation. Are you saying the justification exists to take a chance on the child coming out alive or they both die instead of just sacrifice the child? Because of some what? Some belief that the fetus is sacred? then do you stop being sacred when you're born? Or is it an age progression thing? The older you get, the less sacredness you possess until finally you drop off the earth because you have none left. It doesn't make sense when you look at it. This mystical distinction between the born and the not yet born when it comes to how sacred and wonderful they are is it's feel-good bullshit. It's t uh, taking morality to a level where it's on a pedestal and you can sit there and say, look at me, look how good I am. When you sit there and, oh, you're a mother getting an abortion because she could die? Well, fuck you, and you're a bad person. No, no, you're the bad person at that point. You are a terrible individual. I am sorry to put it so bluntly, but that's what it is. If you can condemn somebody in that situation, already enduring that kind of pain, fuck you. Sorry, fuck you. That's fucked up, dude. So, you know, those are just a couple of different arenas of this, this issue that is abortion that have very different viewpoints and you should have perhaps very different viewpoints on them too. Not just this one umbrella topic of abortion, but look at the cases involved in it and the reasons why it happens in these instances. People who are against abortion, you might find that you would do the same thing in certain situations. You may not agree with everyone and I don't either, but you'll find that just to say abortion is wrong doesn't work. It doesn't fit. Because life is complex. The situations of life are complex. And to just discard a tool completely because you don't like how it works when it gets the job done is stupid because we don't have a better answer yet. Can you save the life of the mother and the child without abortion? If you can, do it. But it, in many cases we can't. So that's the reality of the situation. Until you can change that reality, the choice is already there, and only one of them actually makes sense. You choose the child's life over the mother, well, your moral prerogatives are different from mine. Sorry, I, I can't see it that way. And regardless of how you feel about abortion, the real point I want to make here is it's a topic for deep and real consideration, not just a quick judgment based on how you feel. Just something to think about.